Hello everybody! Welcome to Social Shopping with Kim for Wednesday, July 20th. Super excited uh, to have you guys on live and on the replay. Uh, we are excited to be featuring Hatley dresses this evening. So it's one of the, our favorite brands uh, that we haven't featured yet. And um, I think it's a perfect time of the year for it. Lots and lots of fun summer things finally happening. And Hatley is a company that you can kind of wear to the beach, wear to work, wear on vacation, wear to a wedding. Um, kind of the, the, the choices are limitless. So we briefly had featured a couple in our dresses for all occasions video, uh, but we are going to be going through the entirety of the Hatley collection this evening. Maggie uh, is with us to model one of each size. So we have some sleeveless, some short sleeve, um, I have a couple of maxis and then also the uh, a few of the coordinates left. So I hope everyone is going to enjoy that. So before we start, um, if this is your first time joining us, hello, welcome. My name is Kim. You're joining Johnson's in Gimli, Manitoba. Uh, super excited to have you live. And we are going to be giving away two tribal dresses or coordinates or tops of your choice. So to get into the uh, draws for this evening, please leave us a comment. Hi, my name is, where you're watching from, and are you watching live or on the replay? That is important because we are doing one draw for live and one draw for on the replay. Um, as per usual, from last week, most of our, um, our entries came into the replay bucket. So those girls who are watching live had a very good chance of winning. So I'm going to ex be excited to announce those shortly. So yeah, um, it's going to be just sort of about 30, 35 minutes. Sorry that we were getting on a little bit late. We were busy chatting <laughs> and kind of didn't realize the time. Okay, so housekeeping first before we head right on into our live try on. Uh, last week we featured New Balance and um, we had a great response to that. Lots of people came in and quoted some styles and some color codes. So yay for you guys. That's awesome. Uh, we also are going to be giving away two pairs of men's or ladies of your choice. So you can choose men's or you can choose ladies, whichever your choice is. Um, congratulations to our winners from last week. Our live winner was Tracy Prunin from Clan de Boy. And our replay winner was Christy Karish from Gimli. So congratulations, ladies. Um, I'll be messaging you to um, um, just to kind of give you a heads up if you're not watching. And if you are watching, yay! Uh, or, if those or if either of those ladies are on your friends list, please feel free to tag them and say, hey, you're the winner. Um, that's always tons of fun. That's great social media um, fun right there. Hey, you won something. All right. Um, so... Another housekeeping note, two, two more housekeeping notes actually. Uh, one thing is that we've been really anxiously awaiting is our Teos sandals called Gift. If you are a gift person, you know exactly what I mean. Maggie's going to have a pair on right away to show you. Um, finally, after four months of waiting, we have now got all of our colors in. So if you were on the list um, for letting you know if the gift comes, I think you probably have gotten a call by now. But if you haven't, um, we do have the light pink pearl in size 7 to 11. We have the pewter 8, 9, and 10 only. And we have the white pearl left in a 10 only. So we've been getting really broken sizes and then they've been selling. So just FYI, um, if those are your sizes and you know that you love it, we do have those in stock. Last thing and probably the most exciting thing uh, is we have our anniversary sale tomorrow. So super excited for that. Every year, third week of July, every year, Thursday and Friday, nine till eight, um, our escalating discount for 31% for 31 years of business. So thank you to everybody for your continued support and patronage. We certainly appreciate it and are looking forward to uh, seeing lots of our um, customers and friends in the next couple of days. Um, just wanted to do a little bit of housekeeping for that. So uh, as usual, uh, we don't offer a price adjustment on previously purchased merchandise or special orders. And there's a few reasons for this. The first one is that we always try to treat all of our customers equally. So we would feel that it was not fair if somebody got a discount early and someone didn't get a discount early. So that's the first reason. The second reason is it's an accounting nightmare. So believe me when I say to try to figure out stuff that's purchased and reversed and purchased again is just not fun. So that is the reason behind it. And most, the most important one is the, every, we want everyone to feel equally important and equally valued. So that's the reason that we don't do that. So i um, just wanting to clarify that a little bit. And uh, the next thing is for our prize for last year. So last year, remember we did a big 30th anniversary sale. Uh, 30th anniversary gift bag. So we are going to do something a bit different this year. So we are going to do a drawing for a $50 Johnson's gift card each day. 
um, the random draw for all orders. Um, every customer that comes in that leaves their name and phone number uh, will be entered into the uh, draw for the $50 gift card and we will be posting it on our page on Saturday morning for both winners. So if you have any questions about that, please uh, leave them in the comments. And when I watch the video, I will answer them um, or I'll inbox you if you have any questions. So, okay. So without further ado, we're at 7-Eleven. <gasps> we only have half an hour left. All right. So uh, Maggie's going to show us our first, um, our first sleeveless dress. And on our storyboard today, we're going to start off with sleeveless. So hello, Miss Maggie. Hello. All right. So we have uh, one of Hatley is definitely a cotton company. Um, there are lots and lots of really great fabrications. We have a couple of different fabrics that we're going to talk about today. Actually three. I'm going to turn up my volume here. Three. Close up of the print. <laughs> yeah. So kind of our bit of an ECAT print. Really, really nice coloration with the coral. Really denim friendly. Great with a little jean jacket. And this one is a stretchier fabric. So it kind of is that cotton lycra feel that you might be used to. It's almost like you could almost golf in it. Um, mm -hmm. It's a little bit shorter length. You'll see that there is two lengths coming up. So even on the board, you'll see that some of them are longer than others. Here's a close-up of the pink gift. Oh, yes. Teos. Finally, we got it. Very oh, beautiful color. Definitely worth the wait. Really pretty. Um, I was just in the city today doing spring, summer 2023 for Teos. And I can tell you that the pink pearl is not available. So if you want that pink pearl, I would get it this year. Um, the colors are changed from the pearlized to the flat. So we'll have black, red, navy, taupe. But they'll be flat. They won't have that shimmer to them. So if you like that shimmer... Um, zip in and grab them on sale in the next two days so for 31 percent off so why not all right so we're going to quickly whip over this is the same dress that maggie is wearing one of the, my very favorite prints this print is called french blue sweeping fronds so i don't know what a sweeping frond is but to me this definitely looks more tropical based almost like palm leaves almost like yeah. palm leaves right so it has a bit of that sort of drawing kind of look to it but again that kind of a tie-dye inspiration so this one is the, so you'll see two lengths. This one is probably the shorter length. This is an extra large. So this would probably be the size I would take. Um, and it would be right on my knee. So I'm five, six. Maggie's a little taller. It's a little bit shorter on her. So, so above, about, yeah, about two knee. inches above the knee. Um, and this is stretchy. So it's going to be that little bit more clingy, a little bit more stretchy, but just a nice classic tang style. So that one's been good. This one is seam fabrication. Hey, I think so. Yeah, yeah. definitely cottony. Kind of that Mandela, bit of a kind of Balinese influence. I love that. I love that. It's like that Eat, Pray, Love movie. I was so happy when that fashion came in. It's like, oh, I just loved all of that stuff. <laughs> so fun. So that's really cute. Show you a little bit of a... Oh. And the blue one she showed before, this is the last one. It's extra oh, yes. large and it's the last yeah. one in that. Yeah, so extra large. Pattern. I would say that would be like a size 14, 16 probably. Um, and it's like I say, it's a nice, nice sort of women's fit. This one is a size large. We do have pretty good sizes left, actually. I did double up on lots of sizes earlier in the season, knowing that I wouldn't be able to get repeats like usual. Lots of the inventory is tight. Um, so we do have like pretty good extra small to 2XL left in lots of them. So, okay, so these dresses are all three the same. Then we're gonna move on. And this is a different fabrication. It is definitely heavier weight. It does not have nearly as much stretch in it. It almost kind of has like a French terry feel to it, but it's not French terry. Like it's not backed with that. It's just a little bit more of a flat knit. It's not so much like a t-shirt. Like it has a little bit more body to it. Really nice sort of square armhole. Gives you the illusion of a really nice um, hourglass waist just with that little bit of striping. And I know there's going to be someone here who says, oh, I could never wear horizontal stripes because every, and I, I'm like, get, I get it. I get that. However, I think this is kind of a play like, look how it just sort of naturally makes your eye go in, right? So super pretty. A bit of an A-line bottom, so not nearly as straight as some of the other ones. This one also has an A-line bottom that Maggie's wearing. So you're going to see some that are a bit straighter. The A-line ones, the fit and flare, are definitely flattering for lots and lots of different body types. This one included. So, and it actually, this one actually has a waist seam. So I'll show you that a little bit closer. So right here, this is actually a waist seam. So if you're somebody who is naturally an hourglass, it's a waist fitting and then just kind of flows out. So really a nice style. Keyhole little back, super fun. And does it have pockets? No, I don't think so. No, some of them have pockets. So. No, no pockets in this one. And a couple left, do you think? Uh, large, or yeah, large and extra large. Large and I extra think. large left. Cute. Okay, 
And then um, that would not be Hatley without this little guy. So this is the Roberta. This is my, this is definitely Kim's pick for sure. So it's actually one piece that looks like two. So it has one piece underneath. I'll just fold this up even if it looks ugly like this, just so you, that you know. And here's where the elastic sits. If you want to pull it up onto your waist, you can. If you want to wear it longer, you can do that. But it's all sewn together. So super, super flattering. Great for an apple shape because it hides lots of lumps and bumps and sins if you have any. And this one does have a really cute little, just a bit of lime green in the print. And also a bit of kind of that aqua color. So really pretty. And this is actually, I should have brought my water. Sorry. <laughs> this is actually, um, more of a silkier fabric. It has more drape, but it doesn't cling. So although this one is stretchy, it clings more. This one sort of hangs from the bust point. F super, super flattering. Looks great in an extra small, looks great in a 2XL. It's a great dress that, that has great grading on it. So really, probably definitely my favorite for sure. Also has a cute little fun tie on the back with some fringe. Fringe makes everything better, right? And next we have also the um, it's, I'm not going to say navy. It's more like an indigo blue. Yeah. Like it's not really dark navy and then also has the fringe. So we normally carry this in quite a few colors. This is the last two colors that we have left. Uh, pretty good sizes. These, like this is, yeah, these, and selection left. these ones are both extra larges and I wanted to pull out a couple of smaller ones and a couple of bigger ones just so that you could see and length is perfect for me right on the knee. So, okay. Super pretty. Okay, they all, they, we all better not be this long in every division or we're going to be here till midday. Okay, all good. So next we have coming up, uh, short sleeves. More yeah, okay, so no, we have the drapey ones. Yeah, okay. So next um, we are going to feature a couple of the same patterns in the short sleeve in the same fabrication as this real stretchy one. So these ones are definitely going to be a little bit more clingy but also like super, super comfy, feel like a nightgown. Like literally you could totally sleep in the next version. Actually in the, in the one that Maggie's wearing too, you could definitely sleep in. Okay, so we're gonna get these guys up on our board. Perfect. Like look how fun seashells. Okay, so you will notice that two of them are shorter and two of them are longer, and that is by design. So about two inches uh, difference in each length. A lot of people felt that Hatley, myself included, was just like a titch too short. And with having that extra two inches, you can always hem it, right? But you can't make it longer. So it's really nice to have both. Okay, and so Maggie's gonna show us probably, this would be Kim's pick for sure. Yeah. Um, those are all my colors. So we've got that really nice little uh, jade green in it and short too. sleeve. And like they really do a nice job on the zipper. So like they've got a really fun pull, first of all, like pull, but then it also is an exposed zipper. So it almost adds to the design a bit. And now that is the little longer one. So yes. for, so that's right on, right on the knee actually for someone who's taller. So that's pretty good, mm -hmm. yeah. I would say. And just a fun little t-shirt dress. So, okay. So that is this one. So we'll just do, oops, we'll take off that one. So that's this guy. Then we have in the exact same fit in the longer version, we have the little sort of arts print kind of reminds me of like a porcelain, like, you know how in Europe you see those like broken glass kind yeah. of tables, right? That's what this print reminds me of, but I love the colors in it and a really pretty border print. Let's see if I can hold it up high enough. My arms aren't that long. Okay. Let's just do this. There we go. Okay. So yeah, really pretty border print on the bottom definitely kind of has that European influence for me. Okay. So these two are the same. Then the next two are a little bit shorter, same fabrication, same sleeve, same everything, just that little bit shorter. Um, one has a border print, one doesn't. So we have the little navy print and it's done just a pulling in that little bit of pink. So on the Roberta that we had, we didn't have that little bit of pink. And I think it kind of makes it look a little bit more summery. And they tie it in with the zipper pull at the back yeah. too, which is so that's cute. super fun. So I was saying just, I was just showing the one that she was wearing, but it's probably an easier way to get a peek at it is this way. So it's kind of just neat how they do that little bit um, differential in that. And then next one we have, which is no border print. And this is our little lake inspired print. Seashells, super fun. Has my little favorite color jade in there and the jade pull at the back 
and no border print. And this is in the shorter length. Shorter length, stretchier fabric. Okay, uh, version number two, done. Okay, see, we're gonna whip through this, don't worry. Okay, so next on the list, we have same style, different fabrication. So the fabrication is a little bit um, more cottony. It's boardier, it has more depth to it. Um, it's not as clingy, so it hangs a little bit better from the bust, bust point, let's see. So hope that makes sense. Okay, so we do have, again, same length differential. So we have a couple longer and a couple shorter, I think. Let's see, okay, so I have these two longer. Whoops. And then I have these two shorter. Okay, oh, and that one, that's my favorite yes. one. Okay, so we're gonna start off with uh, the one that Maggie's showing us. This one is a kind of a different style. It's the only one that has that sort of bodice embroidery. Is it embroidery or? Yeah, I'd say it's embroidery. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And yeah, it is. Yeah. Kind of almost like a bit of a 60s embroidery, like almost like a peasant top would have, but really looks neat done on the printed fabric, right? Yeah, so, it's very, I like the embroidery. It's very cute. Me too, me too. Yeah. That definitely makes it for me. That is the shorter version. And it's one of the only ones that have the curved hemline as well. So if you want to just turn to the side just really quickly, you can kind of see that this hemline is curved in here and it just makes it look a little bit more like a shirt style dress. So if even if you were wearing it like super short, it could be like a little tunic. Uh, so if you were taller, it would be nice with a little white bike short or something underneath. Mm -hmm. Super cute. I love that one. And just yeah. a little sleeve, right? Okay, so this one is sort of a bit of a one off. Like we don't have any other colors in that one with the embroidery but we do have these. So we'll start off with the shorter ones since we're in the shorter one right now. And another border print. I love border prints. It's one of my favorite trends. It's really cute colors. I love that one too. So very summery. So what we were saying before about, okay, so I'm gonna wear this to the beach. I'm gonna then turn around and wear it to a wedding. I'm gonna then turn around and wear it to groceries, right? It's one of those styles that you could do tons of things with depending on how you accessorize it. So if you're thinking about kind of doing it for a daytime effect, throw in a white jean jacket, a little uh, blue jean jacket and kind of accessorize from there. If you're thinking about doing a little bit more upscale, so because we are in a resort community, weddings here lots of times are very casual. They might even be on the beach. So you wanna just put a little bit of shine and shimmer into your accessories, maybe a fun little scarf, a pashmina, and then a, of course a statement heel or a fun shoe. So just think about putting accessories in and doing different things that way, as opposed to changing your whole dress. So, okay, and then we have the pull is matching in that one. So no contrasting zipper pull there. And next one is this one. This is like, this print was designed for me in all its entirety. So we have the little jade border print and a wide border print this time. So not just a kind of a two inch one, really a nice fun wide one. I love this, super pretty. And that's just the little shorter version, no contrasting pull on that. But again, kind of that little, but kind of a, like Mediterranean type of yeah. a print, is that if that makes sense, like that Mandela look, I love that. That's one of my favorites. Okay, so we have those two. This is the last one. Okay, th yeah, I knew there was a couple. <laughs> that's why we were late. We were like, hey, we gotta check sizes quickly. Okay, so this is the last one. This is an extra large, so maybe I'll buy it if no one buys it. <laughs> no, just kidding. Um, okay, so this is definitely a Delft blue, but goes back to black. Lots of them don't go back to black. And I find for sometimes when you're trying to dress it up and you're wanting like a sort of a fancier black shoe, if they don't match black, it's sometimes hard to do. So this one you might think about if you're kind of thinking about maybe I have a beach wedding and yet I want to wear it to groceries. Um, really fun. This is definitely a boxier print. So if it were if it were me choosing, this is probably the one I would have chosen. Um, short sleeve, again, a little border print, and then does have the contrasting pull. The nice thing about this is it does have that little bit of pink in it as well. So if you can want to pull that out into your accessories, you could make that really fun. Um, oh, what I'll show you the border print. Super cute. Yeah, little stripe. This one is really well done. And I think it could be like when I, whenever we go on a cruise, I always take a couple of my Hatleys because it, that's a perfect occasion for them. It's like literally I'm wearing this as a cover up, and then I'm going to go inside and get lunch or whatever. And you look like you're dressed. You don't look like you're wearing a bathing suit cover up. So Hatley is so great for that. Okay, next one. Oh, this is another good, another good print. I know we sound like broken records today. Yeah. Oh, we love this print. Okay, so this is also really pretty, but these are just such great Gimli colors, right? I love that one. 
And this is, again, that little bit heavier weight fabric, not as clingy, definitely, I mean, great in the bigger sizes for sure, and does have the contrasting pull in the navy and the longer length. So really cute. Love that one. And okay. there's black in that one too. Yeah, there, uh, is it black or is navy? Is it black or is it navy? I think it might, oh, be, it might navy, be navy. Which is, uh, it's, From which far is, away, it almost looks I black. think you could actually accessorize with black or navy, depending on what you put with it. It'll be one of those prints that takes on the, if you put a black jacket, it would look black. If you put a jean jacket, it would look navy probably. And then, yeah, you could do either yeah. one for sure. Okay. Awesome. Okay, girls, we're getting through. Where are we at? 727. We're going to make her. We are going to make her. Okay. Next, we have three quarters. Next, we have three quarters. So we have quite a few three quarters. Oh, I grabbed too many by accident. Okay. We have two uh, different fabrics of three quarters. Same as the short sleeve. So we have, I'll first put up my cottons. Cottons. Oh, do we all have, oh, maybe we don't have any of the other one left. These are all cottons I'm putting up here. Oh no, this one is not cotton. Sorry, not organized today. Okay, so essentially the same um, principles as the short sleeve one. So we're not gonna go into this whole song and dance again. But the nice thing about the three quarter sleeve is you can wear it a lot earlier in the season. So the short sleeve obviously or sleeveless, you're gonna wanna put something over if it's cool. This is a nice earlier spring or into the fall style. So they've done a really nice job here just with that little sort of a petal sleeve. Um, and sort of the notch neckline. Pretty? What has Maggie got on? Oh, this another is another good pink one. Another good pink one. Okay, so this is the exact same as the first print that I showed you. And in the border print. Really pretty. And nice to kind of have a little bit more longevity in the season. So you're going to wear that a little bit earlier. You could even wear it with a pair of little tights. Three-quarter white that? tights or something. I don't know if they call it a notch neckline or... Uh, I, th I would say notch neckline for yeah. sure. Yeah. Well, that's what we're calling it anyway. So sometimes I like if I might make up words or, you know, you just never know. Sometimes that happens, right? Okay, so we're, today we're going with notch neckline. And there's the, in case you couldn't see it on oh, yeah, the, the border print. Border print. Oh yeah, that's super pretty. I know I love that. It, it, as soon as I saw that print, I'm like, that totally reminds me of that broken glass thing. Okay, and next exact same dress, we have the little sailboats. This has been a popular print. We've repeated this a couple times. Uh, very gimly, very gimly. Yeah. Um, then we have, oh, I must have liked the notch knuckle and I bought it in like every single print. <laughs> okay, then we have the variegated sort of dip dye type of a stripe. So starts off with dark navy, lake blue, ocean, turquoise, and then kind of an elm green at the bottom. And this one is a little bit longer. Again, super cute. And... Yep, this is still the heavier fabric. So you'll recall this is the same print as she had in the sleeveless. So we also have it in the other print. So like, this is a little bit complicated, but once you get to the rack, you're like, oh yeah, this totally makes sense. Maybe I'm making this a little more complicated than it needs to be. All right, so three-quarter sleeve, plain cotton, three-quarter sleeve, plain cotton, but also kind of fun. So it's that heavier border, right? I love that. I think it's super cute. And just pulling in that little bit of the dark pink, which is kind of nice. Love it. And next we have, this is the only one that we have left actually. I in, think so, I tried yeah. to look through again. But. Okay, so this is the only one that we have left in the lighter fabric. And again, kind of that nautical feel, right? We have the little notch neckline, we have the petal sleeve, and not white. So this is actually sort of a creamy white notch neckline, but they've done a really nice job here. Just even a little bit of contrast stitch. And again, don't think I'm never gonna wear horizontal stripes because you might, you just never know. So from a design perspective, they're doing sort of bigger stripes on the top. So that's gonna draw the attention up to your face. They're doing narrow stripes in the middle and that's gonna sort of pull in your waistline and make you sort of have that little bit of a, of a um, hourglass figure look. And then wide at the bottom again, and then our little border. So really fun. Very nautical. It is. And like, but on, I mean, really, honestly, like it's where we are, like in Gimli, we sell lots of nautical, like whether it's sort of in style or not. Nautical is something that people always love. I love it too. One of my favorites. Okay. Next we have similar, but not the same. We have 
So we just have this, and then we have our little bit of coordinating sportswear, and then we're done. So our 740 timeline is gonna be accomplished, so yay us. Okay, so same fabric, different cut, different back detail. So we have a couple of styles in there, and I'm gonna put these up just because this is the next one that we're gonna talk about. Not all, but the next one. Okay, so first of all, um, this will look a little bit familiar same fabrication um this is is it stretchy oh you know what maybe this is it's a little light it is it somehow feels almost like the fabrication in the middle of the other two it's not quite as t-shirty as the sleeveless but it's not quite as heavy as the short sleeve one so i hope that makes sense okay so it's definitely a straight cut a little bit of a peplum sleeve very fun oh i should have been quoting names i didn't even think of that this one is fiona okay uh, yeah, so a little bit of a bell sleeve, straight cut, bottom detail, really into kind of a nice job of the variegation, variegation in hues, but fun in the back. So super fun here. Uh, I'm just going to show you kind of what that would look like. Really, really nice to have that deep V in the back, but holding nice together. So sometimes when you have a deep V like that, it falls off your shoulder. Um, and that's never a good look, right? It's like the flash dance thing, but at least flash dance, it's supposed to be there. So this one is really nice because it holds this nice and tight and it doesn't affect the front of the garment and really cute. So Maggie's gonna show us one on, of course. So fun. Yeah, definitely a little bit of a bell yeah. sleeve. It kind of almost is like a little bit of a peplum sleeve and see it really holds this nicely. So even if you just had, let's say the, the strap here, I think you would get this this happening a bit, right? You would feel like you're pulling it up. I think it's really a nice uh, flat detail. Really pretty. And there's my little tropical. Yeah. So love that. Very kind of 60s inspired with that vertical detail down the center. Lots of the sort of like twiggy-ish kind of dresses um, in the late 60s had that um, almost like art deco kind of a, a detail. But I love that one. And of mm -hmm. course, I love hibiscus and I love anything Hawaii. So yeah, so that one, that would be definitely Kim's pick number two if I wasn't picking the other one. Uh, and then last but not least is our Coastal in the other color story. So this one does look a little bit busy when you look at it sort of away, but it really does ground the print nicely because all of the colors are reused. So we've got some really nice orange, we've got two shades of pink, and then it's just nice done on a nice bright white ground. Really cute. And then we've done this way so it looks so different in the one that she's wearing and this one like you would think it would yeah. be a totally different dress right and a bit more a-line than the others i would say you could definitely have a little bit more room in the hips on this one than you would for example for the other straight ones with the yes. uh, yeah okay so we have three colors in that perfect and while she's changing i'm just going to go over my coordinates really quickly because we don't have an outfit on for that so um, Hatley generally is about 90% dresses, but we do have some fun little coordinates sometimes. So this is like a knit lounge pant. It almost is like a pajama pant, but not. A pajama pant that you could actually wear to the grocery store. <laughs> um, this is a, the same print as that little dress with the embroidery on the bodice. Kind of a circular print, really cute. Then we have a couple of little cotton sweaters to go with that, 100% cotton beautiful 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 hand so if you like all cotton this is definitely a good choice um, we are getting pretty low on sizes but we have this is an extra large and a medium got probably two or three at least left and now it's sort of in the same grouping you wouldn't need to necessarily wear it together but you could if you wanted and uh, this other little top that kind of doesn't really match but it's also fun so this is a little rayon tank Shorter in the front, longer in the back. Has kind of a cute um, detail. This is actually, um, this is actually drawstring. And it's very hard to see on this print, but it really has a cute little ruffle as well on it. So very cute. And that's just a nice navy print. And that can be nice, great back to jeans or navy pants or whatever. So anyway, I just kind of want to really quickly highlight that collection because lots of times I forget even that we have some coordinates. So it's just the dresses are always sort of the focus. Okay. And last but not least, we have a couple of maxis. Super cute. I like this one. It's very cute. I like it too. 
So definitely this one, I, I, I will appreciate the vertical, um, st the vertical style line to that because it is the more definitely, um, clingier fabric. So the fabric is, you can sort of see very stretchy. Very stretchy. Yeah. Yeah. It's not one that you would necessarily want to buy big. You have to just be comfortable wearing it sort of in a slim line. So mm -hmm. I think, yeah, it looks, looks super great. And it has a little slit here. Oh on yeah. One side. Fancy. And a drop shoulder. So if you don't, if you're someone who doesn't like a set in sleeve, this one actually has no shoulder seam. So it's really um, nice if you're broad shouldered. It's nice that sometimes if you have a shoulder seam that's always set a little bit too far in, the drop shoulder is kind of fun. And ankle length. So ankle yes. length on someone who's 5'9". This is definitely going to be a true maxi on those of us who are like 5, 6 and under. Uh, but yeah, super, super yeah, cute. Very cute. I like this one. I love it. Okay, last two. Um, this is the other maxi. And this is the other fabric and the other fit. So this is like... Um, one and then the polar opposite is what she's yes. wearing so this is a totally different fit totally different style this is a true french terry it actually has a bit of stretch to it but you can really see that it has that sort of traditional french terry backing it does have the drop shoulder as well no sleeve less sleeve even well maybe the same hard to yeah similar maybe sleeve a little less yeah but the fabrication changes the entire fit of this so what i like about this is where the striping is is over the bus, but it's also going to bring the attention back to your face, which is where we want it. Um, it's also a very drapey, casual fit. So this one, it would be difficult to dress up. I think it's very beachy. It's mm -hmm. a cool hand to the fabric, but it does sort of feel a bit like a sweatshirt. Like it sort of has the fabrication that you would feel like in your favorite sweatshirt. So like how good and comfortable would this be? And it also has the like slit as well. Oh yeah. So like funny because, so actually it's the same dress like it is like it's actually the the like style wise it they're both called what are they called Blake should know, remember that one but the fabric makes it completely opposite of a fit so just keep that in mind if you're thinking oh I could never wear that I love it but I could never wear it um for me I I love that but it wouldn't be for me but this one definitely would be a no-brainer for me so super pretty and very long so this is like I'm five six this is right to my ankle. Just stand back a little bit so you can, I can see. Oops. Yeah. So perfect. Okay. Okay. How are we doing? 7.39. Oh, we only have one more and we're going to make it. Okay. So you may recall on the Dresses for All Occasions video that Maggie did put this one on. And this is probably... I would say almost the most flattering it's style. It's the most slim, yeah. The most slimming style that we have from Hatley for sure. It's a totally different fabric. It's almost like a, like a flat slinky, if that makes any sense. Yeah, it's... It's very, it's not cottony at all. It's a nylon blend. Um, it does have a really pretty knot in the middle. So it really draws your waistline in. And it does have a waist seam. So on the back and the front, here's where the waist seam is. So for those of us with no waist, this would not be a good choice, but for Maggie, it was a perfect choice. So because she's naturally has that hourglass figure, this pulled in really nice and tight and just looked gorgeous. So it was one of the ones that we had lots and lots of comments on for the dresses for all occasions video and a little sleeve and almost kind of like a pedal sleeve, eh? Like yeah. remember it wasn't really tight. No, it wasn't. Like it was almost kind of like a little flutter. Very cute. And a little bit shorter, I would say shorter style yeah. than some of the other ones. Definitely. and great print so kind of has that bit of a broken glass kind of look like the other print for this hello hello Lorena Hicken which size does the French cherry dress come in uh, uh do we know a medium okay so this is sorry and I can actually see a comment and answer it yay medium usually and medium and large is what we have left usually I have to go so close to the camera to actually like see a comment <laughs> okay so medium and large and this is a generous medium Definitely, yeah. Yeah, so like the large would be definitely a gen, like I would say the large would probably be at least a 14, 16, probably for sure. Like it's a very straight cut. Um, yeah, so, and then this guy, so. Okay, thank you guys for watching. You are welcome, Lorena. Okay, so thanks for watching, you guys. Um, hopefully uh, we will see some of you in for our sale for the next couple of days. 31% off for 31 years in business. If you are joining us late, um, please make sure to leave us a comment. Hi, my name is, where are you watching from? And are you watching live or on the replay? And we'll be drawing for two 
um, tribal dresses or tribal two Hatley dresses of, or coordinate of your choice. Um, and we'll be drawing that next Wednesday where we'll be showing um, four. So we haven't decided what we're going to do yet, but we're always on the fly people. So uh, thanks you guys for watching and spending your uh, Wednesday evening with us. And we look forward to seeing you in the next couple of days or comment on the video and we'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. Have a wonderful evening and we'll chat soon. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.